Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your reading for the week of uh, November 12th. This week, I go live every single day at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you want to catch me live, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and let's see what comes up for you. Looks really good already. Yep, definitely. A lot of good stuff coming up for Pisces. You have the King of Hearts, which is you, Pisces, and the Three of Diamonds. I do feel like you need to watch your paperwork at this time, but uh, King of Hearts, you're coming up in a very strong position. I feel like for some of you, this could be love returning into your life. Um, again, I feel like this could be somebody coming back. I don't normally say that either. Uh, I'm not a big fan of going back to the past, so. Um, but I do feel like this could be somebody coming back from the past. There could have been, you know, kind of... Uh, you know, problems or little things that went on or things that need to be kind of straightened out first. But um, I would say as long as you can pay attention to the details and not like fall into the Piscean, you know, idealizing the relationship in the first place type of thing, then I feel like you'll be fine with this card. I do feel like this is uh, love coming in for you as well. Uh, next, you have the Ten of Diamonds. So money coming in for you. Look at that Ace of Diamonds. Definitely money. I feel like some of you have really good uh, like business ideas at this time or, um, this is just the return of money coming in for Pisces. Again, money has been terrible for Pisces, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, Uranus in the second house for us has not been fun. And finally, you know, once we get through March, we'll, it'll be in our third house. We'll be fine. Um, but uh, this is new money coming in. This could be secrets in a relationship. I do get secrets here. I feel like somebody could be telling you secrets in a relationship. For some of you, I feel like somebody, like it's like you broke up with somebody. You feel like their friend tells you something that happened in the relationship if you don't know the details. Or maybe that person comes directly to you and tells you what happened. So I feel like there is clarity there. Uh, I also feel like money, like I said, new money. Uh, Ace of Diamonds, starting something new. Any of you who are starting something new, just do it. These are amazing cards, tons of money, tons of good stuff coming in for you. Also dating, I feel like there could be new love coming in for a lot of you Pisces. It shows up here as well. Next, Seven of Spades and the Joker. Uh, needing to jump is what I would say here. I feel like you could be having a lot of fears about getting started on something new, new relationship, business, whatever. And uh, this is like the Fool card in the tarot. It's a joker, and it just says you need to just jump right now. You need to, you've need to. you been preparing for a long time. You have all these tens here. So you've been preparing for something. You've been preparing for something new, and now is the time to get started. Again, people always ask me, you know, I say, well, uh, you know, it's Venus retrograde, and then it's going to be Mercury retrograde. I'm like, I've started so many things under Mercury retrograde. Nothing bad has ever happened. The things that I've started are still going. I always tell people I bought this computer under Mercury Retrograde years ago. I still have it. So again, as long as you pay attention to the details, uh, you will be fine. So don't be afraid to start new things under Retrogrades. Next, you have the Ace of Spades, existing problems being resolved, and Eight of Hearts Love. So I feel like you are kind of living your dreams at this time. This is a card of fantasies, but fantasies that you need to create, fantasies that you need to manifest here on Earth. So I feel like you're doing that here. I feel like some of you went through an ending. Um, you know, again, it could have been a breakup, a separation. Uh, you could have lost somebody or whatever. And I feel like now it's like you're finally at a place where you're ready to manifest like new love into your life or new, uh, you know, new situations into your life as well. Um, this is a very good card of, um, uh, kind of like love and shared love. It's a very good card for dating. And it is a card of things that keep repeating in your life as well. I would say I would be careful of that. Um, again, if you had a negative relationship and the person wants to try to come back, if you feel like it's just going to be a repeat, I would say, you know, don't do it, obviously. But I do feel like this is some sort of rebirth is what these two cards are talking about in your life. Uh, next, Ten of Hearts, Fortune After Difficulty, Three of Hearts, Yes, my Yes card. So I definitely feel like there's love. Yep, I feel like there's going to be somebody who's really attracted to you uh, at this time. And they could be charging in, like really wanting your attention in love. This could be you, Pisces, as well. Uh, it could be you being very attractive at this time, people being very attracted to you. And uh, Ten of Hearts, like I said, Fortune After Difficulty. A very good card for money, love, pretty much everything. I'd say any of you Pisces who are moving, by the way, uh, this looks really, really good. I feel like a move could be the thing that brings everything you want into your life. For some of you, I feel like you won't move for like a year. And then I feel like at that time, Again, things will really start to pick up. For some of you, it's like right now. So I feel like two different things here. And again, some of you might not move for a year. Some of you, you know, shorter. But I do feel like a move could bring something in for you. For some of you, again, I've said this to you before. I feel like there could be a surprise move here as well where you just like, you, maybe you're not planning on moving at all. But like all of a sudden, maybe like later this year, you just like randomly decide to move somewhere. Um, I see the return of friends here as well. So I feel like a lot of you, maybe you haven't been very social. And now I see you returning to a social life. 
Uh, finally, you have the Six of Diamonds and the Nine of Diamonds. Look at this money. So I feel like luck and new beginnings in your finances with this Nine of Diamonds. So I feel like there could be a lot of money coming in for you. I just say Three of Diamonds, pay attention to your paperwork, pay attention to you know your accounting, all that other stuff. Uh, this represents new. It's like the death card. So this represents new energy coming into your life. This is a card that says don't be too withdrawn. This card wants you to open up six of diamonds so that you can receive like all of these blessings. But it looks really good, Pisces. So thank you for watching and enjoy your week.